Okay, so fine, matrices are really linear transformations, they've got some geometry, but I mean, so what? Come on, does that really help us understand things better? Yes. Oh, yes. And you're going to want to pay attention because this is important. Matrices being linear transformations can be composed. You can do this, then that. And that composition is precisely matrix multiplication. Let's consider a simple example. Let's say I've got a shear, uh, 1101. We know what that does, right? That, that keeps the horizontal axis, shears the vertical, and then by linearity, it does that, that thing. Okay, so let's say we do that. And then we do another linear transformation after that. Let's say a rotation. Let's say 0, negative 1, 1, 0, that's my friend J, rotates counterclockwise by 90 degrees, by pi over 2. Now, what I want to do is think about uh, what happens when you do uh, first the shear, then the rotation. What linear transformation goes from the beginning to the end, doing both of those things at once? Well, of course, we just follow the basis vectors, right? Uh, the i vector, uh, 1, 0, goes to 0, 1. And the j vector, 1, 1, goes to negative 1, 1. There, there's the matrix, there's the linear transformation. We could just read it off from the basis vectors. But watch, because this matrix really is the product of the shear matrix with the rotation matrix in the correct order. You've got to get the order correct. First, you do the shear, then you do the rotation. That means the shear matrix is on the right, then the rotation matrix is on the left. You've got to be careful with order of multiplication because matrix multiplication is not commutative in the same way that linear transformations are not commutative.